Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Kylie. And I'm Linda. And today we're making a count by showing you a delicious variation of a family favorite. Yes. Lasagna. Yes. Ours includes yummy butternut squash and nutrient dense spinach. So you can enjoy this classic comfort food with a health conscious twist. Let's jump right in because the sooner we get started, the sooner we can dig in. Berry Girls, brought to you by Hen House Market. And we've made it our life's goal to show you how to eat healthy and make, make it count. count. We've already cooked the lasagna noodles according to the package instructions. And we set them aside, you know, let them cool off just a little bit more, as well as preheated the oven to 350. We're going to cut the butternut squash lengthwise. We're going to scoop out any other stringy bits and seeds. And don't forget to drizzle both sides of the squash with a little bit of oil of your liking. Perfect. So place the squash on a baking sheet and cook until fork tender, which is about 45 to 60 minutes, depending on the size of the squash. If you need additional cooking time, cook in increments of 10 minutes at a time. Once it's done, remove the baking sheet from the oven and let cool. <laughs> Then scoop out the squash using a spoon and place the contents in a bowl. Wow, this is so tender. Hey mom, did you know that I love to save the seeds from the squash, dry them out, and put them in the garden? That's an excellent idea. <laughs> and another way to use that would be to roast the seeds in an oven. Hey, did you know butternut squash is a great hydrator? Because it's roughly 87% water. Yes, I can see that in here now. And that helps with hydration. It's also good for your immunity. Like other orange colored fruits and vegetables, butternut squash is full of beta carotene and alpha carotene. It is. Which acts as antioxidants and are critical to cell growth. Then scoop the squash out into a bowl using a spoon and puree it until smooth. Mm -hmm. Then you'll add in your Italian herbs, salt and pepper, garlic, and ricotta. Now, if your mixture turns out to be too thick, add a splash of soy milk as needed. Once everything is blended together, set it aside and we'll start assembling our lasagna. Now prepare a casserole dish by greasing it lightly with olive oil or spray if you have it. Spread one third of the butternut squash mixture on the bottom of the pan, like so. Sprinkle lightly with mozzarella cheese. Yummy. And then add a layer of the cooked noodles. And you have to be careful not to overlap them. Mm -hmm. Add some spinach on top of the noodles. And then add your Parmesan cheese. And we will repeat until all noodles, squash, and spinach are gone. Perfect. Bake the lasagna at 375, cover with foil for the first 30 minutes. First 30 minutes. Then remove foil and bake for an additional 10 minutes. Remove, let it cool, and enjoy. There you have it. Delicious, nutritious, and time efficient. The Berry Girls Butternut Squash and Spinach Lasagna. That really looks amazing. But don't forget to leave a like and follow Hen House on Facebook and YouTube for more delicious and nutritious recipes from the Berry Girls. Leave us a comment and let us know how you make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House Markets. Berry Girls out.